Hello, I am Coach Louise, and you have joined me on my favorite day of the week. It is Tabata Day. I love Tabata workouts. They are effective and efficient. We can do a lot in a short period of time. So today, all that I need from you is yourself and then a mat if you have one, a yoga mat or a towel from your linen closet would work just fine as well. All eight of our movements today I'm going to explain as we go along. So we'll do a little warm up together and then we will get started right away. As with any Tabata workout, we will be working for 20 seconds and only taking a 10 second break. We've got four rounds today. In between each of the rounds, you're only getting 45 seconds of rest. If you've been working out with me for a while, you normally get a minute, but today I want your heart rate up and I wanna make the most out of our short time together today. So let's get going. I'm going to step back and we are all going to start with a Spider-Man lunge with the knee drop. So come down to a high plank position for me and bring one foot up close to that same hand and then I want you to drop the opposite knee to the floor and tap it and then bring it back up again squeeze your glute your glute your glute and push your heel back to the floor and or towards the wall and then drop that knee back down again we're going to do three more of those drop the knee squeeze your glute and push your heel to the wall two more drop your knee push the heel drop the knee and push the heel and let's switch to the other leg all right and drop your knee and press your foot back drop your knee push that heel back three more together three two and one okay stay in a high plank and we are going to alternate a high plank rotating to the side. Look at your hand, come back down to a high plank, rotate, look at your hand. We're doing a total of 10 of those. Here's three, just rotate with me. High plank, reach up to the sky. There's four, good, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's come up. Let's get your heart warmed up because that's doing most of the work today. And give me 20 jumping jacks. There's four. Halfway. Three, two, and one. Okay, let me show you our very first two movements. The first is going to be an elevator squat. So feet hip width apart or a little further, whatever is comfortable for you today. And you're gonna drop elbows to knees, booty towards the floor, come up halfway, drop back down again, and then come up all the way. So drop down, halfway up, drop down, all the way up for all 20 seconds. Then we'll move into a high plank with a toe tap. So high plank position, tap your toes out to the side as quickly as you can go, keeping in good form, all right? We're just going back and forth eight times, four of each movement, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. I'm starting the timer. I said we were moving fast today. When it starts, you've got 10 seconds. Get in that squat position. Here we go. Squat position and drop down, halfway up, drop down, all the way up. Drop down, halfway up, down, all the way up. Keep your chest up nice and straight. Keep your eyes forward. Here we go, drop down, halfway up, all the way up. 10 seconds, come down, get ready for your high plank. High plank, and tap side 
to your side. Keep your back flat. Keep going as quickly as you can. Up, back to the elevator squats. All right, here we go. Up to the side with those toes a little bit, if that's comfortable, and drop down, halfway up, drop down, all the way up. My good friend and coach in one of our Illinois clubs calls this going down to the basement, up to the lobby, down to the basement, and up to the penthouse. And I just love that. So I will talk us through that the next time we do that full. We're back down to that high plank with a toe tap. fast as you can. It's only 20 seconds of work. This might be the only 15 minutes you get to yourself today. Make it worth it. Off we go. Back to the elevator. We're all going to start by going down to the basement, parking garage, and, and then up to the lobby, down to the garage, up to the penthouse. Down to the garage, up to the lobby, down to the garage, and up to the penthouse. <laughs> Keep coming with me. And down, all the way to the bottom. Halfway up, and all the way to the top. Good. I love it. Back to that high plank, toe tap. Get in position first. And. Remember, keep your back flat for me, please. I can't see you, but as your coach, I want to make sure that you're in good form before you add speed. All right, back to last set here of these elevator squats. Same thing, good form, chest nice and high, torso straight down to the basement, up to the lobby, down to the basement, up to the penthouse. <clears throat> keep going. Basement, lobby, basement, penthouse. Basement, lobby, basement, penthouse. Good. Okay, last set of toe taps. <clears throat> and tap to the side. I keep hitting my wall. <laughs> I should have moved my mat. A little bit to the side before I started. All right, that is our break time. So 45 seconds, get water. But watch me as I explain our next two movements as well. So we are going to do a jumping side lunge or squat. Here's what it looks like to the side. Reach to the floor, jump in the middle, and to the other side. Jump to the middle, other side, all right? After that, you have a jumping, or a, let's call it a long jump without ever leaving the ground. So here's what that looks like. Squat onto my toes, good. Without leaving the ground. We're already going, everyone. Here we go. Jump in the middle. Good, as you switch sides. If you can't jump or don't have the coordination to do so, that's okay. Just step side to side, squat down towards the floor, towards your feet. Good, 10 seconds. Then we've got that long jump without propelling forward. Squat down and Good. Lift up under your toes. Keep your hands moving. Heart rate up. All right, 10 seconds. Lateral jumps here. Start in the middle and step. Jump in the 
the middle, step. Jump in the middle, step, and squat down. Good. Halfway. All right, here we go. That long jump again. Feet hip width apart, and here we go. Make sure you are breathing. My guess is you are. I can feel my breath getting heavier and heavier. Good. That's the point of our Tabata. All right, I believe we are halfway. So get ready again for those lateral or fancy word for side. And squats, jumping in the middle. Good. If you're not a jumper or have a hard time coordinating that jump, just don't. Just step side to side. Five seconds. All right. That long jump again. Here we go. Squat up under my toes. Get your hands moving. Keep your chest held high, your eyes in front of you, not at the floor. Seven seconds. All right, that side jump one more time. Here we go in five. And jump. Good. Some of you might be jumping a lot higher than myself. That is great. Show up your coach. I like when that happens. Good. All right, last set here. Last 20 seconds of this squat into a long jump in air quotes. And so we're not leaving the ground. Good. All right, pick it up. Five seconds. Forty-five seconds of rest. Get water, and I'll show you your next two. First is a cross-country ski. So we will start in a staggered stance. And we are going to alternate arms and legs like we are cross-country skiing. And then you'll come to the floor for a bridge where we're just going to hold. So lift your hips up in the air, hands out to the side, and uh, enjoy the break, <laughs> we'll say. All right, we're going in three, cross-country skiing. All right. Some of you might be familiar with a Nordic track that you used to have in your house back in the day. That is what this is like. So think of that machine. Good. Okay, bridging. Heels close to your bottom, hips in the air, hands out to the side, hold. Hold. Your toes should be up in the air. All the weight should be in your heels. Squeeze your glutes. Those are your, your booty muscles. Good. All right. Cross country skiing again. Here we go. Fast as you can go. Move and the legs. I'm sorry if you're in an apartment and you are waking up your neighbors <laughs> below you. Actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> this might remind them to get their workout into. Oh, okay, back down to our bridge. Get 
set up. Lift and hold. Catch your breath. Oh, it's the only movement where we're not moving <laughs> at all. Just holding. Good. All right. Cross country ski. Here we go. The other thing that this movement reminds me of is the scene from Home Alone <laughs> when Macaulay Culkin's character is doing the dance with the puppets <laughs> behind the curtains. This makes me laugh. Good. All right, bridges. All right, come up. Squeeze those glutes. Hold. We got this. Last one, I believe, of our cross-country skiing. I know some of you are going to watch Home Alone now today. <laughs> I might have to add that to my watch list. Good. All right. Come back down, last time, on the ground for our bridges. Heels close to bum, hips in the air, toes in the air, arms out like they're a goal post, out to the side. Three, two, and one. Okay, 45 seconds. This is your last break. So get water and I'll show you your last two moves. First will be an elephant walk. So you will be in a high plank and then we're going to walk our hands forward. Here's what it looks like. High plank, walk, 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 walk until I can't go any further. If I feel like I'm going to fall, I've gone far enough. Walk back to a high plank, okay? Second move is high knees. Now standing in place, knees as high as they can go. We're going back to the floor. Elephant walks, high plank. Walk your hands as far as you can go, and then walk them back, being to be right underneath your shoulders. Okay, high knees in place, and three, two, and one. High knees. If your heart rate's really high and you're starting to get uncomfortable, you can march this if you need. That is also fine. Either way, keep moving for me. Good. Okay, elephant walk, back down, high plank, and walk your elephant out, and walk your elephant back so your wrists are under your shoulders. You could also do this on your knees if you need. Walk out and walk back. High knees. Here we go. Marching our high knees and getting ready. And high knees. Drive your knees up towards your chest. So your legs stay in front of you. Keep your arms going with you. The faster your arms move, typically the faster your legs move. All right, elephants. Walk out, 
elephant and walk back. This one you can't do all that fast. I think that's part of why we call it an elephant. Elephants don't move that fast for their big legs and paws. Okay, high knees in place. Unless you have room, maybe you're, maybe you're traveling with your high knees. This is another one waking up anybody below you. Get those arms moving again, fast. Three, two, and one. Okay, last elephants, here we go. And back. Okay, high knees. This is your last bit. Twenty seconds. Go, 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 go. Three, two, and one. Oh, we are done with your Tabata workout for the day. Oh, man. I know I'm feeling it. You probably are too. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your coach today on my favorite day and caring for yourself, getting your workout in, telling the people below you <laughs> that they should too, and then connecting with one another. Here's what I want you to do today uh, to connect with everybody else who is watching around the world. That elephant plank made me ask myself, if I had an elephant, what would I name my elephant? I want to hear from you. What would you name your elephant if you had a pet elephant? I would name mine Eunice. <laughs> I have no idea why I would name it Eunice, but it just sounds like a nice name for a little teensy tiny elephant. They don't stay small, but <laughs> eventually get, get large. Uh, tell us what you would name your baby pet elephant if you had one and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m central time bye